Okay guys, this is Caitlin Fagan of What's Up Fagans, and today I wanted to show you how to use a plugin called Content Views to create really nice landing pages for your menu here on your main site. Okay, so for example, um, when someone that is looking at the content you have, uh, looking through the menu items on your page, um, when they come down and they scroll through things, when they are interested in something, then they can click like, oh, money saving tips. And so instead of pulling up a page that um, isn't so pretty or that has like big images and a little text, you can set up content views to do a couple things. Um, I have mine set up to display images like this. Currently I have a, just a little intro, uh, but you can do a lot more, make it a really robust landing page. And I'll talk about that later. But um, as you can see that here are all of my posts that, um, are about saving money okay and so you scroll down and people can kind of just see the the featured image and they're all kind of about the same size some are a little different depending on what feature image you pick um, but they have the title underneath and then i have several pages as i have many money saving tips but then they can just scroll through and keep looking if they really want to keep going and see all the tips i have on that topic okay um, I, so if you want to have an easy way for people to browse through all of your content within a certain category, which I think makes it much easier. So for example, I don't have it set up for like organization. Okay. And so because I don't, this is what happens currently 22, you know, so it has like this kind of feature image, the little text for the first, you know, 500 things and then the read more button. Okay. And the same thing. So you have to kind of scroll down scroll down and you know it kind of is not the easiest way to discover the good content that it's on your blog okay and they have to go to the next page right well, there's only you know seven posts or something here you have to do a lot of scrolling and it's just not very convenient for the user so i'm going to show you then how to do that so first you're going to install this plugin it's called content views um let me see if i can find it so content views Yep, it's just called Content Views. If you don't know how to add a plugin, uh, figure that out. You add new, search for it. Okay. Uh, search for Content Views. Search for it. Okay. Um, is that what it is? Content View? Maybe it's one. Okay. That might be it, though. Um, anyways, find it. Hit the, yeah, it's installed. Okay, and hit the install now button if that was still there. And there you go. I guess it says post grid list for WordPress content views. Okay, so that's what it looks like. It's got a five star rating and 60,000 plus active users. So it's apparently very popular. Okay, and then once you install it and activate it, it'll be here on your sidebar if you're on WordPress. Okay, so here I'm going to show you kind of all of my views. I have apartment living, money saving tips, family, pregnancy, all this stuff. Okay. Um, and there's a little shortcut, but let's, so I'm going to create a new one. So you're going to come over back over here and click add new. And the, I'm going to make a page and not a post. And so I'm going to, um, I'm going to sort by the taxonomy, the categories is what I'm searching for. So, um, sorry, that's not all right. Yeah. Okay. Um, Sorry, yeah, that should be it. Okay. Um, sorry, select taxonomy. Yeah, it's not working right now, of course. Okay, um, let me show. <laughs> okay, that is what I did, right? Okay, so it is not letting me do this, of course. All right, we're going to leave that for a second, and then I'm just going to show you here what it looks like. Okay, um, oh, I want post, not page. Okay, so let me go back to that one I just created, I guess. So, um, or let's go ahead, add new. I apologize, guys. So I post um, taxonomy, and now you're gonna hit category or tag. Um, I'm gonna do category, and I'm going to do, what am I missing? I guess organization is one I'm missing, or um, let's see, uh, what did I, not done. Um, education or health or something okay and you can do subcategories as well 
um, to make those what you want. So for instance, I might do sleep. How many do I have there? I don't know. Some also may not be worth combining or whatever, but I have quite a few for sleep. So let's just have fun and do that. So we're going to select category sleep and you can do a couple if you want to do also do, I don't know, health, um, though maybe, you know, so you can do several if you want them all to show up or you know, if they're related and you just want to kind of make one landing page that shows them all. Okay, so you hit the category, perfect. Um, you can do a limit if you only want the, the 10 most recent. I delete it, um, and I do pagination if it's a really big category. So display settings then. Um, I have done a grid, and I up it to three, and then I do not want to show the content just because sometimes it says this is a sponsored post by such such company as the first thing and I just think it looks not very good. I also think it keeps a little more organized but you are more than welcome to do any of these things. I'm just showing you what I do. Okay and then for the size I really liked the square thumbnail medium 450 by 450. Okay. Um, I'm going to open it in the current tab instead of a new tab, but you can change that. Also, pagination, this means the, you know, go to another page. You can limit that to as few or as many as you want. For really big categories, I've done like 39 or 36, um, just to have them scroll all the way down, but um, not keep scrolling forever, it seems, okay? So the great thing is, though, as you're working, and if you want to play around with different formats and different numbers and see how it looks, you can hit this button here that kind of is always kind of hovering over here called update preview and then you'll get a nice pretty preview about all of your posts there okay so then you can see here too here's what a collapsible list looks like hit update preview and this is what it's going to look like it'll show the first post if you want to add the content and here's the content again hit update preview every time so here's a little content and then it encourages you to read more I don't think it lets you edit any colors unless you pay, I'm assuming, for the pro version, which I have not paid for. So this is all free that you can do, okay? So I don't like the content there, but this is the scrollable list then. Here, let's show you what that is. Um, this one is, oh goodness, it's huge. So this is where you then kind of have the, the side, the scroller bar, right? And you can kind of just scroll through all your images. Oh, some of these are really old. Um, but these images are enormous. I'm sure if I switch the size down here, that would not be the case. So if we just do like a thumbnail, okay. Uh, no, they're still pretty huge. I don't know. Okay, so, but that's what that looks like. I'm gonna go back to what I like doing, which is the grid. And we're going to do, um, oh yeah, so here's the read more. You can also add, anyways, there's lots of cool fun functions you can see. You can do the excerpt or you can do the full content. Um, I'm not sure why you would do full content necessarily, unless your content is super short. So um, I'm going to switch my size back to the square thumbnail, update my preview, make sure I did, oh, nope, I still got the, so this is what it would look like with the square preview with, you know, but I just, I just see that this is the first thing that they see, okay? Um, and so since I do a lot of sponsored content, I don't really want to highlight that necessarily to a new visitor to my site. Okay, so I am going to sh click show content off. Um, you can also um, set how wide across you want on a tablet or on a mobile. They kind of have two in one recommended right now, which seems to make sense. Okay, update preview. Okay, here we go. Very nice. Okay, and then we're going to hit save. All right, and then I'm also going to actually, I'm going to change this to no pagination, okay, because I don't think I have that many in this um, one. So I'm just going to save those changes, get that out of here. Save these changes, and then what you do then is where you want this, I'm going to copy this code, okay, it says for page context widget, wherever, you can put this wherever the heck you want it. So it could be on the sidebar as a scroll thing and a little widget there, or on the end of a post, wherever. So I'm going to create a new page, and I'm going to name this page sleep tips or something, okay? Because that's what the content is about. I'm going to go to the text um, or visual. <laughs> I'm not sure what's, let me go there. Okay, and then I'm gonna add something like, we all need sleep. Some, um, 
but sometimes it's hard to get it as we need it. I don't know. Um, here are my best tips and advice for a good night's shut eye. Okay, so um, I'll just put that um, just as a sort of thing. And by the way, that little thing that came up was a Grammarly, that's what this thing in the bottom is, which is a free um, thing that'll help you edit, which is really nice. Um, so it had me hyphenate that, which is pretty cool. Okay, um, anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and preview. I'll show you guys a preview. So this is what it would look like, sleep tips. Da 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 da. So here's all my posts that have something to do with sleep, kind of. Um, here we go, okay. Um, now you can like really SEO this up um, and include like a pinnable image that people can um, post or so pin it and other things and drive traffic to these landing pages, which is pretty smart. Um, but I'm not going into that today. Okay, so now we have this page created. Now let's get that page to show up under health with sleep. I'm going to come back here. And I'm going to go to my appearance and go to menus. Oops. Okay, we want to hit publish. I didn't publish it yet. Okay, so we're going to close that. Um, all right, so now we're going to go to our appearance, go to menus, and then you're going to pull up here pages at the top, and you're going to look for your sleep tips page, okay? And you're going to click add to menu. It's going to automatically show up at the bottom, which is not where you want it. But now I'm going to put it here under my health sub item, and I'm going to delete uh, the one that's just the category. And you just simply hit remove and then it's gone and now sleep tips is on my menu menu but first i have to save the menu okay save the menu and then i'm going to come back to here and we uh let me just go back to the home page here and then when you hit improving you'll see health go down to sleep tips and then look here's all my posts in a nice easy pretty format with the titles and pictures, okay? So this is a very basic way of making your content very easy to find for new people checking out your site or old people um, or to reference people to if you want them to see all your best content in a certain category. Um, so it's a pretty neat tool and that's it doesn't take very long either because it does all the gathering for you. Also, this is a great way um, for me to kind of go through and clear out some things that maybe are old posts and kind of untag them. Um, because yeah, these are really old posts from, you know, like six, seven years ago. Five month checkup is from my twins who are now seven and we're five months old. So um, my blog's been around for a long time, but I can click then, I can see really easily what's coming up under this category and determine if I want it there and then I can easily Okay, well, let me edit this post. I can come over here to my categories um, and I can kind of unclick some of these uh, because no one really cares about this. It's it's not, I mean, it's old. So here are some thoughts I've been having lately, you know. So um, it's just a reflection thing. And so it's not really anything I necessarily want to have showing up. Might leave it for those two. I can also come back and set a featured image. I don't even know what these are, images are called. So um, it's a really old post, guys. I haven't looked at it forever, right? Um, so, you know, I can format it fast if I wanted to. Um, but yeah, I could come back in here, set my featured image, update the posts, um, and not have it show up anymore on those pages or et cetera. So it's kind of an easy way to help categorize things as well. Okay, so um, I hope you guys are excited about this content view idea and creating um, easier, prettier functionality for finding your content on your site. And I do suggest going through your categorization and making everything really easy to find on your blog. Um, all of your content should be somewhat accessible from your navigation bar. Okay, um, so if you have any questions about it, let me know. If you have great ideas for how to use it or how, tell me how you used it on your site, that would be awesome. And yeah, that should be it for now, okay?